Hello. Um, this is a tutorial on how to um, control your Vault of Blofeld synthesizer with uh, any digital audio workstation. I do it with um, Ableton. Um, the first thing is you have to download uh, three programs. Um, you can see the links uh, below in the description. The first one is called CTRLR, the next one is um, Filch Blofeld, and the last one is MIDI Pipe. Um, once you have downloaded them, you can start the standalone version of um, CTRLR. Okay, well, once you've opened the CTRLR first, you have to click to open and load the, the uh, Filch Blofeld plugin you have downloaded. Okay, once you once you have done this, this window will appear, but you don't need it. You don't need this. Um, you can click on these devices, and here you see um, all the MIDI inputs and outputs that are um, uh, recognized. As you can see, there stands Wall of Blofeld in and Wall of Blofeld out, which are the um, the common descriptions for our synthesizer. This uh, Filch Blofeld will not work with this um, in and out here. So we need, this is where the, the MIDI pipe comes in. We need to forward the signal from Wall of Blofeld in to a virtual instrument called, only called Wall of Blofeld. And this virtual MIDI uh, Waldorf Blofeld will be forwarded to Waldorf Blofeld up, or something like that. But I will show you how to set up the MIDI pipe. Okay, you start the MIDI pipe. My one, I, I already created two files, but I will do some new one that you can see. It. Um, you select um, add new MIDI pipe and call this Waldorf. Waldorf C T R L R out. Oh, okay. The next one is you load a MIDI in and a MIDI out. The MIDI in, um, you have to create a new virtual input called Waldorf Blofeld. I already did that, but you select new input and Waldorf. Blofeld. Okay, I don't need to, so I select this one. Then you can select the new wall of Blofeld and you select the MIDI out, and this wall of Blofeld should go to wall of Blofeld out. Perfect. Then we create a new MIDI pipe and we call it um, Waldorf CTR. L R in a input and an output. The input will will be the Wald of Blofeld in, and our output will be a new virtual output, and we call it Waldorf Blofeld. Perfect, and we select the Wald of Blofeld here. Okay, once this is done, you let the MIDI pipe open and you need to restart uh, your CTRLR with the Fusion Blofeld. As I work with a digital audio workstation, I will not uh, use the standalone, but I will use um, uh, a plugin. I, I, I do use the, the, I do use the um, audio unit plugin. You can also use the VST plugin, doesn't matter. Um, the window appears again. You need to click open and select your um, uh, your Filch Blofeld file wherever you stored it. I stored mine here. Yes. Okay. Important is important is that the MIDI pipe is being started before before you load up the CTRLR with the Filch Blofeld. 
and that you leave it started. Okay, as you can see here, we have um, now a new MIDI device, a new output, which is called Wall of Blofeld. You have to select this one, this Wall of Blofeld. Um, you can check if it's working if you look at the second or first filter, wherever you are. When you turn this knob of the filter, this is the cutoff knob of the filter, um, and have a look at the display of the filter on your blow field, you can see the filter curve moving. And this is the signal that we now control the blow field. Um, I will now rename this track in control because there will there will there will be no sound on this track so we can uh, switch it off and um, to get some sound um, we do need to load an external instrument and set it up um, we select the wall of Blofeld out here which is the normal um, routing to our blow field and there we select the input okay I loaded up a little MIDI track here you can listen to it okay, this is the this is the sound of the blow field and um, when I go to CTRLR now you can see that I can control the filter or any other any other knob doesn't matter so I try to set up a chorus now Okay, as you can see, this is the track where the sound comes from and this is the track where we can control or automate our, uh, our wall of Blofeld. And uh, to get it uh, properly automated, we have to, um, to configure the buttons we want to automate. So we click on that configure button here and then we we um, select the buttons we want to control. I don't know why this resonance is not working. This one from filter 1 is working. This drive is not working. Well. Or maybe it's a bug or I don't know. Okay, doesn't matter. We have enough buttons that we can control now. I take the filter 2 curve now and we can set up any random cutoff curve here. Whatever you want. This is just just to demonstrate how it works.
Okay, this is how you uh, can control your Blofeld live um, with your digital uh, audio workstation. Uh, for me, it works fine. I hope um, I could help you a little. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, if anyone finds out, please let me know if this also works on a Windows computer. Thank you very much for watching.